good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast laser cutting project. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com, and that's because I want to once again highlight the Tinkercad Shape Generator catalog. Friends, when you click this, you visit a Google Jamboard where you can see all the awesome shapes that are available using Shape Search. Don't forget there are two pages of these to check out. Lots of amazing items. And then also don't forget if you click right here, you can choose make a copy so that you'll have a copy stored in your Google Drive. Now friends, we're here today because I want to make an awesome little charm out of the mustache. Step one, of course, is to get to Tinkercad. Remember, you can sign in with Google. We're going to click new and we're going to make a brand new 3D design. Simply start at the search and remember we had that word mustache. If you do M-O-U-S, it will show up and bingo, you can bring it in. Friends, I'm going to start by changing the name. So I'm going to do this as mustache charm. And then as you can see, really nothing we can adjust. You can change the size, but nothing else. We're going to fix that by simply doing export as an SVG. I'm going to leave the name. It's in my downloads. Once I hit save, I'm going to delete this item and then we're going to switch to import and we're going to bring back the project. I only want the art. I'm going to keep the measurements and say import. After a moment, friends, the mustache appears. And because we brought it in as an SVG, we can choose outer line and bingo, we've got our charm. Now, right now, the quality is low. If we move it up, you'll see that the shape gets much more smooth. You can change your corners from sharp to round, depending on how you want those to turn out. I do think I like round better. And then I'm going to do shift shrink to get this to the size I want my charm to be. Now, when I do F to fit view, you can see that this is going to be four centimeters. I like that, but watch this. Even though we shrunk it, if I change this to say seven, it actually scales to a size that's a little thicker. So even though we did shift squish, the system is actually pretty smart. Let's see what it looks like if we change that to size 10. I like that. Once you've got the numbers that you think are cool, remember you can tinker with these as much as you want. I said I was going to make it a charm, so let me show you how we do that. Under basic shapes, I'm going to bring out the tube. I'm going to set the sides to 64 so that it's smooth. I like to set my radius for these to size 4. I'm going to set my wall thickness to 1.5, and you can see that is a decent size for the charm hole. I think I might actually switch that to 2. I'm going to match the height of the two projects. So see how that's 2.28. I'm going to just make that three. I'm going to make this three so that they match each other. Pick where I want to put it. I think I'm going to put the charm right there on the corner. And then when I group those two shapes, it is ready for laser cutting. The last step is, of course, to hit export. And for laser cutting, we do an SVG, and I'm going to put this in my 3D modeling folder. Simply hit save. Let's head out to the laser and let's see how it turns out. All right, friends, I'm outside with the At Ezra P10. I have got a piece of 2x4 that's about 8 millimeters thick. Friends, we're going to try and cut that cute little mustache out of this. Let's see if we can. So we are in Lightburn. We're going to do file import in a brand new project. And let's find the mustache charm. Now currently this is about five centimeters. That's really large for a charm. So I'm going to select it all. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to scale it about its center. And I'm going to cut this at about three centimeters. You can see I'm using these three grids to measure it. So now let's move over to our cuts and layers. I'm going to tell you that we are going to use a speed of 200. So let's back that up to 200. And I'm going to do four passes. Let's see if we can get through this with these settings. Let's see if we can get through eight millimeters with these settings. Of course, let's start by powering on the laser. We do have the P10 selected. It was on COM8. Let's use that move command to get it out to where I have that piece of wood. Remember, I move it all the way out here so that you guys have a better view with the camera. Let's double check the settings 
for our wood. We'll flip down that kickstand. I need to move the wood over to the kickstand. That's smarter than doing the nudge. Drop it down, tighten it up, bring that kickstand back up to the top. Do a nudge to the left and a nudge down. I'm gonna set the origin to the bottom left. I think that's gonna be too low, so I'll do control up twice. And let's do frame and see how that looks. That definitely appeared to land on the spot. I'm gonna go two left. That one's probably gonna be too far, but let's do frame just for giggles. Yeah, I know that missed. Let's do control click to the right. One more frame. That looks like it's gonna use our material wisely. Friends, it's time to grab some goggles. Let's make something magical. All right, friends, so if you saw all that smoke, I do want to show you this is the system I've got in place. I have got a range stuck up there that vents it out the window. I am totally pleased with how it gives you guys a better view and yet gives me pretty decent ventilation with my laser projects. Cannot lie, I do have to shut it off every time when I'm showing you stuff, though, because it's that loud. Now, friends, check this out. I'm going to have to push it from the front out because of how thin it is. But we were able to cut through 8 millimeters of 2x4 to make an amazing little mustache charm. How fun and silly is that? Don't forget the design was made in Tinkercad. So much room for you to have fun and make your own cool shapes using that exact same technique. And as an added bonus, you could keep the little mustache that was in the middle. How fun is that? Friends, once again, I want to say, oh my gosh, loving how easy it is to take Tinkercad projects and get them ready for cutting on the AdEzer P10. Oh my gosh, so impressed with the power of this thing and how easy it is to work with. Friends, if you want to learn more, there will, of course, be links down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you'll be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.